sexually kidnapped and was forced to do things against my will. Um, when I was taken to the hospital for the exam, he was notified at work and he didn't even show up. Joshua Vitulano was selling magazines door to door when he met Jennifer, a single mother with three children. The two hit it off and quickly tied the knot, and their marriage has been one big page turner ever since. But five years later, they are ready to cancel their subscription. You see, Jennifer likes to exaggerate and lie about certain things. I I'm expected to cook, I'm expected to clean, I'm expected to do everything else. No, you know you're a little bit of a jerk, right? Tensions run high as Judge Lynn takes on a sensitive issue. Mr. Bibelano, was your wife sexually assaulted? Yes, ma'am, she was. And how did you respond to that? Today, on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Jennifer Vitulano and Joshua Vitulano. The two of you have been married for five years. You do not, however, want to be married anymore. Mrs. Vitulano, you are asking for a specific sum of money from your uh, husband, and we will get to that momentarily. But before we do, I'm going to start with you, Mrs. Vitulano. Why are we here in divorce court today? Well, Your Honor, uh, I might be legally blind and hard of hearing, but I do have enough senses to know that I I'm done with Josh. And all the high school drama that he's been putting me through. High school drama? Yes, ma'am. Um, and Josh, I mean, I do love you. You are my best friend, but I'm done. I, I, I can't deal with this no more, and I'm going to walk after today if you don't listen. See, oh, see there? You killed, you shot yourself right in the foot. Now he knows that he can keep you because you said if you don't change after today. You, you, you can't turn your back. Go towards the door and look over the shoulder to see if he's following. You got to keep going or he's not going to believe you're going to leave. And I don't believe you're going to leave. But I'm just <laughs> And I know some, some women bring their husbands here as a wake-up call. And if he needs a wake-up call, I'll ring him up. But you showed your hand, ma'am. But Mrs. B. Delano, why don't you tell me something about your marriage? Bring me up to speed on how we got here. Um, well, first thing is his anger. Like, he has a lot of anger issues. Um, case in point, he requires that I cook him dinner, okay? There was one time he was actually on the phone, okay? And I was just simply asking him, are you hungry? Would you like a, a tuna fish sandwich? Just mm -hmm. a tuna fish sandwich. Mm -hmm. And I, I, he looked at me, he just, he was looking at me the whole time, and I said, are you hungry? Would you like a sandwich? No response, nothing. Um, I asked him several times, and he didn't respond. Finally, he got mad and decided to tell me off, curse me out, whatever. And at that point in time, he started taking my things. This was the 4th of July. Um, and he started taking my things and throwing it out the door. Like, he literally took all my stuff and was throwing it out in the lawn. Like This, this is a horrible story here, Judge. L let me explain to you what actually happened here. Okay. This I was on the phone with my boss, and Jennifer here is very insecure, and she was absolutely positive that I was sleeping with my boss. I had recently been given a promotion because of performance issues, mm -hmm. and she month. was she was sure that the reason I got this promotion because you were sleeping with because I was sleeping with my boss. Yes, so I was on the phone with my boss, and she continued to interrupt me to gain my attention. She wanted to t me to talk to her instead of talking to my boss. Josh, why phone. don't you get the story right? This is the, the no, correct okay. story. No, you only had the job for hang less on, than hey, a hey, month. Hey. This isn't going to work out. Not going to work out at all. You don't talk when he's talking. He won't talk while you're talking. And neither one of you going to say a word when I'm talking. Okay? Yes, That's what the rules are. <laughs> now, I've gotten both sides of that story. Not quite sure which one is true because I don't know you well enough. Why don't you tell me another instance that demonstrates why you've brought him here today. Another instance? Okay. Um, not but a couple days after he threw me out, um, I was staying with a friend of mine. Why'd he throw you out? The, with the, he threw my clothes out, literally. That, the whole incident. Oh, the tuna fish incident? Okay. Yeah, the, the tuna fish incident. But not but, I, I'd say two days max. Um, I'd actually was walking to the store and um, I was actually kidnapped and um, was forced to do things against my will. 
um, when I was, was taken to the hospital for the exam, he was notified at work. And he didn't even show up. He, he didn't even come to the hospital. Even after that fact, he told me that I asked for it. That it, that I was just seeking attention. And granted, I do, I like to have attention, but that's not the kind of attention I want. Mr. DiDolano, was your wife sexually assaulted? Yes, ma'am, she was. And how did you respond to that? Well, initially I wasn't sure how to, how to take the whole story. See, Jennifer likes to exaggerate and lie about certain things. So I thought that that, might, that story might have just been concocted in order to gain some sympathy from me. Story or no story, history, whatever it may be, your wife calls you up and says, I've been sexually assaulted. I didn't even. You show. Who, who called? The police went to his work. What does that make you? Huh? How small does that make you? Sexually assaulted, and you couldn't stop work to show up at her lowest point, at her most vulnerable, at her weakest, the guy that she picked above all others to keep her safe and secure doesn't bother to show. Well, we had already separated, so. I don't care. I wasn't sure I even wanted to. Are you to. a human being or not? Yes, ma'am. How many times was I there for you, How Josh? can you, you kick your wife out two days later, she gets sexually assaulted, and you can't show? That shows me who you are. That, that's, that's it. When Divorce Court continues, what does Joshua really think of his wife, Jennifer? Let me ask you this. Why would you phrase it? She's a rat who likes cheese. Because rats like cheese? That's how you conduct business in your house. together for years but found that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce call toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorce court divorce court returns with the case of jennifer vitalano who is frustrated that her husband joshua doesn't contribute more around the house but has Joshua been pulling his weight all along? Well, I have a 50 hour a week full time job as well as doing all the maintenance work at the apartment complex. Why don't you tell me what you find disturbing about Mrs. Vitalana that brings you here to divorce court? Everything. Well, Jennifer is very inconsiderate. For instance, she's a rat who loves cheese. She st already stated that she cooks dinner for me. And uh, she, when she, just the other night, she was making pasta and salad. Okay? <laughs> Um, I said to Jennifer, Jennifer, please don't put cheese on my food. Fix my plate, Say then correctly. fix yours. Say put correctly. as much cheese as you want on yours, don't put any on mine. She you said, okay, she acknowledged the fact that I asked for no cheese. When she you was did done not cooking say no the meals. Mrs. Vitalano, please, please. He didn't say no M cheese. Mrs. Vitalano, I, I will get to you. Yes, ma'am. Let me speak to him, Mr. Vitalano. Yes, uh, so after the meal's done, she goes in, uh, puts a thousand pounds of cheese on the entire thing. And it was, it, it became inedible for me to eat. Because you don't like cheese. I, I can't stand it. And I can't stand it even more so now. It's like she's being passive aggressive to me. Okay, let me ask you this. Why would you phrase it, she's a rat who likes cheese? Because rats like cheese. And she has to have cheese on everything. Really? Yes, ma'am. That's how you conduct business in your house. Yes, ma'am call people things like rats and all that kind of Stupid. stuff. Stupid. Get the, get, the, get the lowest, meanest thing you can find and, well, and that, call that's, it. That's not the lowest, meanest thing that I could think of, but uh, yeah, rats like cheese, so that's why I said that. That's actually the She's politest. also. You say Mr. Vitalano has a very short temper and that he can be very mean. Why don't you tell me about that? Okay. Um, I, <laughs> I don't ask much of Joshua because he does have a very strenuous job. Um, I just simply ask him to help me out around the house. I, I, I do have a chore list for him. Um, and I ask him to help me with the dishes every now and again. You got a chore list? Yeah, it, it's, yeah. 
I do have a chore list. I don't on. have one of those. Well, they say that it's easier to ask instead of just expect. So I ask. So you make it clear what you need. Exactly. So he doesn't have to guess. Exactly. Because he always wants to make the statement, you don't, you don't tell me what you want. I tell you plain as day what I want. <laughs> he does the same thing for me. I, I'm expected to cook. I'm expected to clean. I'm expected to do everything else. Which you don't. Anyway, it, it's just simple. It's simple because I, I just want help. I wanted him to show me that he cares enough to help me out. He, all he has to do, like, in his eyes is take out the trash and gardening. That, mm -hmm. In his eyes, it's all he has to do as a man. Mm -hmm. His wife is expected to do everything else. Hold on it's a woman's yeah. work. Yeah, Mr. Vitalano, is that how you see it? Well, I have a 50-hour-a-week full-time job as well as doing all the maintenance work at the apartment complex that we live in. So I carry two jobs, one of them a 50-hour-a-week job. Yes, I do expect Jennifer to help out around the house by doing, di by doing the dishes, by what doing dishes? the laundry. There is none. Yeah, you leave them in the sink all week till Josh, we run out of forks. Josh, you threw them all away. Yeah. You broke that's every you told plate me, in the yeah, house. Yeah, that's when you told M me Ms. I needed Ms. to do Mrs. the dishes. Mrs. Vitalana, I, I think that given <sighs> the, the, um, all the work that he does. He didn't just, he didn't start that until he, uh, he was working periodically. He lays carpet for a living. He was working periodically. There was days where he would have off. He wasn't doing the 50 hours a week until mm -hmm. just recently. Um, but I come back, I'd ask him to do the dishes. There wasn't really, there wasn't that many in there. And I come back inside the house and there was no dishes, not in the sink, not on the strainer, but in the trash can. That was his idea of putting, of doing the dishes was throwing them away. She left them in the sink so long we ran out of forks. When divorce court continues, Jennifer pours out her heart to Joshua. You make me feel stupid. You make me feel like I'm not a human being anymore. Do you think Joshua was a bit of a jerk? Call 1-800-282-1991 vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. who feels his wife Jennifer needs to let go of her insecurities. But has Joshua helped or hurt Jennifer's self-esteem? Ms. Ms. Vitalana, what brought you here? I mean, you've, you've been putting up with this for five years. This is where I'm, I, I finally got to my breaking point. Mr. Vitalano, I think that she feels like you don't value her. I think that's what she feels. I think that, I think you hit I it. mean, and I don't know whether you do or don't. I do. But I when think that's convenient. how she feels. When and I think convenient. what your problem may be, I mean, you got to, no one without a little streak of jerk in them can <laughs> leave their wife having been sexually assaulted and not just jump up and go. Okay? So you know you got a little bit of jerk in you. And I think she sees that little bit of jerk a lot, and it's changed how she feels about herself, hmm. I think. Do you, are you with me? I understand. You, you, know, you know you're a little bit of a jerk, right? I agree. Not a little bit. And you don't really mind. Uh, you know, that's who you are. Correct. Ms. Uh, Ms. Vitalana, what brought you here? I mean, you've been putting up with this for five years. Why no, I haven't been putting up for we five years. We, I mean, we've separated a few times because of the different incidents. Um, but this was my final straw. I, I do have to say this, and this is where I'm, I, I finally have gotten to my breaking point. Okay, every time I've, le I, I've been with him, I, I seem to slowly lose my self-confidence mm -hmm. and lose who I am as an individual, mm -hmm. not just as a married couple. Mm -hmm. Every time I leave him, I get it back. I get who I am. I feel free, like not just free, but like I feel alive again. Take a moment, Mrs. Vitalana. Turn to your left and tell your husband how he makes you feel. You make me feel stupid. 
You make me feel like I'm not a human being anymore. I'm just a piece of property to you. I'm not your property. I'm supposed to be your best friend. I'm supposed to be your confidant. We're supposed to pick each other up, not tear each other down. And when I take care of you all the what, time? What, 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 is, what, is it, what is it he does? Does he call you names? Are you... Case in point, we're walking to go get my check because my clutch went out. Mm -hmm. So we're walking to go get my check. Josh is a real skinny man. He's got really long legs. He walks fast. Mm -hmm. Okay? He's walking, and I'm behind him some. And he's like, what are you, too fat? Come on, hurry up. Like, he, tell, uh, he calls me a fat. When divorce court continues, Joshua has a few grievances of his own. She quit doing, doing everything. She gained a lot of weight. She's wearing my clothes all the time. I don't really want to, sh she's quit shaving. I don't really want to sleep with myself. Do you think Joshua was a bit of a jerk? Call 1-800-282-1991. Vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. To receive some valuable offers. Call 1 800 202 1991 now. Divorce Court returns with the case of Jennifer and Joshua Vitulano, who have endured Jennifer's harrowing kidnapping and sexual assault, only to call it quits now after five years of marriage. He calls me stupid, he calls me fat. Do you do that? She's very insecure about all different things. When we got together... What's it going to do with the price of hang tea? On, do you call me fat or do you, not? Do you call her those names or don't you? I do. Why do you think that would be helpful? I'm trying... What, did, what do you think it improves? How does it help you get where you want to go? Uh, it, it makes me feel better. <laughs> you know, I think that is the best answer anybody has ever given me to that question because that's exactly what it is. You make yourself feel better at her expense all of the time, and that's why she feels the way she does. Well, see, I feel Jennifer has given up on the relationship. When we got together, I mean, I don't want to sound rude or, or vain, but when we got together, she used to do her hair, she would do her makeup, she would do her nails all the time. Since we've gotten married, she quit doing her nails, she quit doing her hair, she quit, go she quit doing quit everything. She sex. gained a lot of weight. Yeah. She's wearing my clothes all the time. I don't really want to, she's quit shaving. I don't really want to sleep with myself. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know which came first, you letting yourself go or you being mean, but I know at this juncture, there, it's no fun being with a jerk. And why would I want to continue to make myself better for someone who calls me, uh, you know, a rat and fat? and lazy. Why, why would I want to continue to open myself up for that kind of hurt? That's what she is now. Doesn't make sense. Do you really want to talk about this $400? Because I know you're not going anywhere. <laughs> um, Can I say this to you, Mrs. Vitalana? He can't respect the line you didn't draw. Do you understand what I'm saying? He can't have an argument with a person who's unwilling to engage. If you, no, 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 let me tell you, let me tell you. You lean into issues with him. You say to him, I'll talk to you about it when you can talk to me nicely. And then you don't do it. You make him come to you as a man and not as a two-year-old. You don't whine, you don't cry, you command. And you are not what other people do to you. You are not what other people say about you. You're a strong, resilient woman, and I want you to feel that way when you walk into a room, even when he's in it. And if he ain't gonna treat you right, don't take it. Don't get angry about it, but don't allow it. If I'm not gonna get to this $400 because it's a waste of my time. You go home, do the right thing, you do the right thing, and if you want, leave on this one. You be better first and let her catch up. All right? Yes, ma'am. This matter is adjourned. There will be no recovery. All right. Party committee, the courtroom.